everybody. My name's Teresa. I'm 39 and I'm from Birmingham, West Midlands. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I start, I'd just say if you notice this, it's where I've had a tattoo and I'm getting it removed. And that's just somewhere it's healing from the last session. Just put that out there. This is going to be a knitting channel. Maybe a bit of crochet if I want to add a bit in. I'm not very good at crochet. And to be fair, I'm not the best knitter, but I can knit. I can do different types of stitches and I want to learn and do stuff. And I thought, right, I'm going to knit myself something because I've never knitted myself anything other than scarf. So what I decided was I'm going to knit a cardigan. Now I chose one of the worst colours. I was told, don't knit in this colour. It's horrible, especially at low light. And that is the dreaded black. Because you can't see. Now I found, I used to do cross stitch on and off. Never really used to finish them and it was a waste of time really. But when I did do it with black, cross stitch was a nightmare. So I learnt my lesson. Thought now, nah, will it be alright? It kind of is. I've decided to knit this. Not in this colour but in black. It's called Free Knitting Pattern Lion Brand. Banner's Choice, My First Raglan Cardigan, pattern number L32316. Now, I found that off a site called, let's have a butcher's. Let's put it into Google. Off a site called www.lovecraft. Lovecrafts.com. That's www.love, L O V E, crafts, C R A F T S, or one word, dot com. They do a coloured variation, I've just noticed, but I'm doing this version because it seems pretty straightforward. It's just a straight up and down cardigan with a 2x2 two two rib on the collar, well, a 2x2 two two rib on the cuffs, the button bands. And the sleeves and whatnot. Now I've decided I might, because I can't be bothered to do buttonholes, just do the bottom band the same on both sides and then just sew a zip in. But we'll see when I get to it. So far I've done this. No, there's a problem. It says to end your last row of ribbing on the wrong side. So I did an extra row thinking that was going to be right. Turns out it wasn't. So here I am undoing my stitches. For a minute, I thought I wasn't recording. Sorry, I've never recorded. Off. This is a new tablet that I've got. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. For a minute, I thought I wasn't recording off it. But I was. So at the minute, I'm having to undo all these stitches just to take me back one row. Then I can start the rest, which is basically a knit a row, purl a row for the entirety. And then... Also, what I'm doing is writing down, which is what my friend told me. She said, write down everything. If you're doing a back that's like, I don't know, not a back. It works particularly well for sleeves and sides. If you're doing a, a right side and you know there's 200 rows on the right side, then you do the left side and you've got 210, you know you've done two... You hold it up and you think, oh, I'll just stretch out the other side to make it match. No. You know you've done 10 more rows than you should have because you've wrote down the other side. So then you just undo them 10 rows, take it back to the 300, 200, whatever, and then you, they'll be the same. Same with your sleeve. If you know, say it says to do, I don't know, 4 centimetres of rib, so you do that. And in my case, four centimetres of rib was eight eight rows. So I do eight rows of rib for the sleeve. And then say, knit it to 22 inches. You know that to say, I don't know how many rows would be in 200, 22 centimetres. No, 22 inches, sorry. Get it right. Or you know for a fact, if there's say... 150 rows in 22 inches that when you get to 150 rows you don't even need to measure because you know it will be exactly the same as the previous 
sleeve you've done. Then when you sew it, there won't be one longer, one shorter. Same with the width. So I've wrote down the back. Whoops, can you see that? The light's a bit, what's it? This is written in pencil, so it's a bit dodgy. That's the back, that's the rib of the back. And I've got eight rows. And then I've got rest of the back, which is knit a row per row, which I'll start when I've undone this row. So, I'm going to continue undoing this row. Now I'll see you when I've undone it, because watching people undo rows is just boring. Hi, I'm back. I've undone my row. And that was tedious, but I did it. Now, the next part of my first raglan cardigan is my keys and my pen work into a two rib blah 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 change to larger needles knit one row purl one row now that's a sleeve I'm looking at silly what's it if I had a brain I'd be dangerous okay Work in stocking stitch, knit one right side, purl on the wrong side until the piece measures 15 inches. So what I'll do is, every time I do the next row I do, will be complete knit, nothing else. So I'll knit the entirety of that row and I'll write one. When I get to 15 inches, I'll know that the back measures eight, excuse me, eight rib rows plus whatever, what they call stocking stitch, which is knit a row, purl a row. Now I need my needles for the stocking stitch, which are 5 point, can you make those out? I don't know if this is coming out the right way, because to me it looks backwards, but 5.5 millimetre needles. The ones I did for the rib, these are called Knit Pro Zing, and the sizing is on the actual body of the needle. And that is four point five oh, which is basically four and a half mil in English. So you have to start with the bigger size now. And my friend told me to get a neater edge. Now I've got to look it up. Because I was doing a rib, I didn't need to do this because it already was included. But I need reminding. So the next one I'm going to do is. It's a knit row, purl a row. But she told me to purl the first stitch. And knit into the back every start of every row. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm purling that one. And then I'm going to knit this row. And then when I get to the last stitch. I'll knit into the back of said stitch. So. This is not like tutorials or anything. This is showing my progress. But if anybody does want to know any information about knitting, let me know. And I will show you. I'm not ashamed to show you. Because, you know, I like to help people out wherever I can. Not that I'm an expert or anything. Now, if you're interested in the pictures on the wall, they are called 5D Diamond Painting. And it's like cross stitch, but you have little resin squares or circles that you stick on to a pre-printed canvas. And it makes a picture. Now, the ones I've got behind me are... That's a little Pikachu. That's a giraffe. That's what's called a partial, because only the giraffe is in diamond painting. The white round it, that's not. The rest of four diamond paintings dream catcher that I spent a long time doing because I was doing others in between that one's a kettle the next one along is a kettle or teapot as a handbag which my friend Karen bought me and I made it and the next one is another lady that I knew from a diamond painting group who I now no longer speak to because it's a long story but she did me that for one of my birthdays and I really like it and it's a dragon, whoops, a dragon in a teacup. And then I've got my big, excuse the state of that, 
oops my bedroom's like a child's bedroom that big one there is Belle sitting at the dining table with all the Beauty and the Beast characters Lumiere, Mrs Potts, Chip, Cogsworth and some cakes I love that picture, it's really amazing you also bought this mirror from Dunelm for £8 bought some fake roses off of uh, AliExpress and stuck them around the edge to jazz it up little bit of excitement there just need a drink of water talking all this makes your voice dry this wall I'm knitting with it's by a brand called Marina and it's double knit got it off a site called Marina Yarns I think the site was called and if you spend so much money on wool, it works out cheap because you get free postage. Mine, I bought seven balls for £11 odd pence and that's pretty good, I think, to make this cardigan. I'm doing the third size in this cardigan, which is, if I find the pattern, which is a 42-inch bust. I mean, that's probably, I'm not a 42-inch bust, but it's extra small small medium large extra large 2x large and 3x large now i wanted it a medium because you know i like a nice chunky cardigan in the winter and also it allows if i'm wearing clothes underneath like a t-shirt and you don't feel all restricted and plus it's hand knitted so it might and i don't know if when you wash it will it shrink up a little bit i mean this wool is made of 100% acrylic double knitting, 300 metres or 328 yards, which means nothing to me. I just know that there's 100 grams of it, <laughs> basically. So I'm going to knit this. This is part one. I will do an update video on how I progress. Can't guarantee how often videos will be. I might do, I've got some other knitting that I want to do. So you might see other pieces work their way in. I'm just going to chip away at this slowly but surely and eventually I'll have myself a black cardigan so that will be amazing I mean if I get it finished and it fits I'm going to be so happy and then if I wash it and it doesn't shrink up too much because it's not pure wool then I'll be even more happy because you never know with some items some items can shrink up and some can't I mean I've never had anything shrink up before so we will see so this is just an introductory video and just showing what i'm currently knitting what's on the needles uh like i said if you want to know any more just drop a comment down below uh if you like what you see and you want to see more subscribe like the video if you wish and thanks for watching